Okay, so uh, when you're maintaining a Schlumpf uh, pneumatic mandrel, it's got a pneumatic retract, there's a couple of tricks to taking it apart that we want to show you. Uh, the pull rod on the inside that actually retracts the gripper has a, uh, a pilot hole driven all the way through it. And that's what we use to prevent the pull rod from spinning when you go and try to uh, install or remove the button head cap screw that holds the uh, pull rod and the uh, pull plate in place. We'll show you how we take that off. The first thing you need to do is remove the lower gripper pin. So I just use a uh, M4 Allen. Needle those pliers to get the pin out. Don't lose that. Now I'm going to turn the tooling up. down so we can all see it. Okay, we'll probably change the camera angle now. Okay, so now that I have the lower gripper pin removed, the gripper can just slide out of position like this. It's held in the space in this groove. You just go ahead and pull that out like that, and it'll just change camera angles again. So uh, what you want to do is, again, you're looking for this pilot hole on the uh, pull rod. So what I do is take the, uh, the same uh, M6 that you used and start to rotate the pull rod until you can see it. And actually, I'm going to remove the uh, button head cap screw. This is more to do with the install than the um, removal. Okay, so if you look right here, there is the pilot hole. And if you were to put a smaller Allen wrench through it and hold it, it'll allow you to get enough torque on the uh, button head cap screw when you go to install it. Now when you, you would be doing this, maybe you're cleaning the mandrel because you've got some debris on the inside, maybe you've uh, inadvertently lost a part like the pull plate or the button head cap screw itself or the stainless M6 lock washer that holds it in place. In any event, you're going to probably run into an issue where you go to tighten it and the pull rod will start spinning on you. This is how you prevent it from spinning. And then when you're done, simply put the gripper back in its slot and reinstall again with the uh, M6.